Last thing to get to is dual threat star Shohei Otani, former member of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, recently signed the richest contract in sports history, joining the Los Angeles Dodgers for $700 million. The contract terms are staggering, y'all. Ten years, $700 million, which eclipses soccer star Lionel Messi's $673 million contract with FC Barcelona and Ronaldo's Al Nassar contract which is at $536 million. Now, let me say this. Messi's contract is for four years, and he's getting paid $168.5 million per year. Ronaldo's is for two and a half years. He's getting paid $214.5 million per year. Patrick Mahomes is at 45. Shohei Otani is at 700. One of the other curious things that enters my mind, we talk about it, America being a capitalistic society, right? We talk about it being the land of the free, the home for the brave, which is true. But we really talk about its capitalism as what helps America thrive. Well, then why are people elsewhere getting paid more money than the top athletes here? Somebody needs to educate me about that. I'm wondering why. Because... You don't see nobody else signing contracts like that. Now, we see the biggest contracts in Major League Baseball, all right, in Major League Baseball history right there. I mean, we got Otani. We got Mike Trout now um, at, at $426.5 million. We got Mookie Betts. You see that. He's at $365 million over 12 years. We got Aaron Judge at $360 million over nine years. We got Manny Machado at $350 over 11 years. Francisco Lindor, Fernando Tatis Jr., Bryce Harper, Giancarlo Stanton. Oh, my God, don't get me started on Giancarlo Stanton. And, of course, Corey Seager, or Seager for the Texas Rangers. Um, it is what it is. Major props to Jerry Atani because here's the reality. It's not 17 games in football. It's not even 82 games like hockey or basketball. This is 162 games where Atani is not going to be, is now going to be a DH. So chances are he'll play anywhere from 140 to 150 games a year. When you take that into consideration, do I think he's worth the money based on play? Not, on, not if he's just a hitter. I think the combination of him being an elite pitcher along with somebody that can hit, I think he's worth that money. Here's why he's worth the money no matter what, however, because he's box office. The Asian contingent will follow him wherever he goes. They will fill ballparks. They will fill stadiums. They will fill arenas. They will do whatever it takes to follow that man. And they will spend money to do it. Shohei Otani will pay for himself. That is why you look at him and you say, $700 million, $700 million, he's worth it. Yes, he is. And to be in a Dodger uniform, arguably the most storied franchise, second to the Yankees in my opinion, in baseball annals, in the Los Angeles market, yeah, he deserves the money. He deserves the money.